tips to help you, the buyer, secure that perfect house in this very competitive Long Island seller's market. That's the topic of my next video. Tips to help you in this very competitive seller's market. Tips to help the buyer, that is, get the deal. That's the topic of this video. Hello, everybody. If you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Syosset, Long Island. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you enjoyed the content, which I hope you will, definitely give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it, and share it with somebody that you know. Okay, tips to help you buy the house or get a house, get that accepted offer in your name before the competition buys it out from under you. Yes, we are in a very, very hot seller's market right now on Long Island. So you, the buyer, need to be prepared. First thing I will tell you, you should secure yourself a real estate agent that is working in your best interest a.k.a. a buyer broker. I'm going to include a link, actually the link will be down here, to a video that I made about the advantages of a buyer broker. Who's working for who? Very important, particularly in this seller's market. You want the help of a professional helping you secure the deal so you can get that perfect house in this market. So the buyer broker is number one on the list. Number two, you need to be ready to rock and roll. What do I mean by that? No, I don't mean dancing. I mean ready to rock and roll and that you gotta have all your ducks lined up in a row for the transact the, the uh, real estate transaction that is. Current pre-approval is key. A current pre-approval no more than 30 days old. And if it is a pre-approval that you got pre-purchasing or leasing a car, not good. You gotta get pre-approved again. You might have actually knocked your credit score out of whack and thus you might not be able to buy a house at this time. So if you are getting a pre-approval, don't make any large purchases in between the time of the pre-approval and once you secured the house and closed. So that was number two. Number three, start your shopping experience online, narrow it down. When you go to an open house or you get a private viewing of that property and during uh, this COVID pandemic, those are very limited. So make sure you know you want to, uh, this is a house you really want to see. You make that appointment either via your buyer broker or the set selling agent, and then you bring everybody involved in the decision making. You're most likely only going to get one chance to see that property. If, the ha if you have to come back with somebody else from your family to make the decision, there's a good chance somebody else is going to buy the property. So make sure the decision makers are there when you see that for house for the first time. You need to be shopping. Another tip, I guess this would be tip number three. You need to be shopping for a house, not for a price. The whole definition of a seller's market is means there's a lot of buyers out there, limited inventory, so the price usually goes up Sometimes, uh, yes, the, the famous word bidding war brings or elevates the price. But if you've been shopping for a while and you know that this house is for you, you might want to bid a little more than asking price or a significant amount more than asking price if you can afford it naturally to get that particular property. And that could be problematic in the appraisal process, but there are ways to work with that too. And I'll include a link to another video about you have to sell your house twice. What does that mean? Um, that's a whole other topic as well included in that video. So you need to have that current pre-approval. You need to be ready to rock and roll and all the decision makers need to be on board. And lastly, you need to have a team. You need to have your real estate attorney, an attorney that specializes in real estate ready to move forward. You need their name, you need their address and phone number to put on the offer form. You need also to have a home inspector of your choosing that is ready to move within three to five days max of your accepted offer. They need to go out there and inspect that property. If you're gonna take longer than that, you could still lose the deal because most agents are having the houses still being shown even if there's an accepted offer until it is under contract. So understand that just because you have an accepted offer doesn't mean the house is yours yet. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I hope you enjoyed the video.